Today I'm reacting to watches worn in famous movies or something like that. So are we gonna see any good movies here? Any adult movies? No? Any f it's not that kind of video. Why not? That would be class. Watch expert reacts to watches worn in porn movies. Like, why can we not do that? I mean, you can, but it's gonna get demonetized. But no, uh, movies. What kind of movies? A whole array. We've got action, we've got romance. All right. Before we get into the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you want to buy or sell your watch, go to prideandpinion.com. Every month we're doing a giveaway. And this month on the Patreon, we're giving away this god tier Casio from IFL Watches. By the way, this was a limited edition watch trading in and around 750 pounds. Sign up for the Patreon now. First link in the description. Doctor Strange. That's a Marvel movie or something, isn't it? Yeah, he was highly requested last year. Drawer full of watches. Some cool watches here though. I see a Rolex Daytona, reference number 116520. That's the first watch. Second watch, I can't really see. Third watch is definitely a Jeju Le Cult. Reverso, I think it's the 1931 Rouge. Uh, as well, Tech Hoya Monaco, class. Don't know what the bottom is, let me see. What the f is that? Looks a bit like a Panagai. It's really tough to see, mate. This is f brutal. Yeah, that must be Panagai. He's grabbing a watch. Ladies and gentlemen, he's grabbing a watch. That's the Jeje Le Cult Ultra Thin Perpetual Calendar made in full steel. Absolutely class. It's really thin. It's perpetual calendar. There's different calendar complications available in watches. The annual calendar, the weekly calendar, and the perpetual calendar. The perpetual calendar is the most complicated calendar in the world, period. A perpetual calendar will tell you the day, it will tell you the date, it will tell you the month, it will tell you the year, and it will tell you if it's a leap year, yes or no, and there's a moon phase in there as well. So it is a damn complicated watch. Accurate until 2100. Yes, because that is supposed to be a leap year, but we're not counting that as a leap year. Benedict Cumber thingy uh, apparently is a, I just heard this, is apparently a ambassador for uh, Jeju Le Cult. So um, yeah, I'm not surprised to see Jeju Le Cult here. Like it's a class watch. I absolutely love the ultra thin perpetual calendar. My personal preference would have been the Black Dial though. It's one of the most affordable mechanical perpetual calendars on the market today. Today's value of this watch sits between 12 and $14,000. Drive. I, where do I know drive from again? Ryan Gosling. Is it where he f says nothing the whole day? Yeah. yeah, it's like that one. Aye. Was he not like a super driver or something? A stunt driver who was also doubled as a getaway driver. Uh, I, I have seen this movie to be fair. This is fake as f It's not just a fake Patek Philippe, but it's not even a chronograph, and he's trying to do what a chronograph does with a watch that only has a small second. That's really f weird. Like, genuinely, I know these f things and props, etc. but why the f did they not use a proper chronograph for that? Like, like, this is ridiculous. That's not even a chronograph, mate. And I've never seen that watch anyway. I don't know what this is. So I've watched this full f clip for this piece of sh basically. That noise is fake as well. That's wrong. Don't know what it is. Don't give a shit. shit. Anyway, f it. move on. Drive f off. Right, Goslin, disappointed. Broke my heart again. Let's see if he can redeem himself in La La Land. La La Land. What? 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 Stop. No. Shh, shh. You have to be quiet. If you, you want me, to, then you have to make sense. If you want me to be quiet, you have to make some goddamn sense. That's not Amber Heard, right? Amber Stone. She looks a bit like Amber Heard, to be fair. She doesn't. No, no, she does. You know, I've never seen La La Land anyway. One of my favorite movies. Oh my god, don't ever say that. It's a musical, isn't it? It's unbelievable. Omega! That's really cool. That's a late 40s, early 50s. At least it's a 50s watch. Like, listen, there's no reference number of that. That's impossible to find a really really cool watch small like this watch is definitely 35 to 36 millimeter wide it kind of looks a bit proportional so that means actually ryan goslin has really f skinny wrists this is ridiculously cool and i love vintage watches in general because vintage watches carry a story with them that modern watches simply can't this watch has been on the wrist of many other people because it's literally 75 years old probably that's insane can you imagine 75 years old that's Class. I love that. I love that. What is the big short? You're terrific. Thank you. Your big mouth was a revelation. I appreciate that. This is a Ryan Gosling thing, isn't it? Reacting to Ryan Gosling's 
movies, worn watches thing or what, whatever. What is this? I'm a CDO manager. A CDO yeah. manager? Yeah, at Harding Advisors. I didn't realize that there was anything to manage with CDOs. No. You know the f thing is, I can't, that's, that's the guy from The Office. I can't see that guy in any other movie. I just can't. If I see him in any serious movie, I can't take the movie serious. It's always Michael Scott, will always be Michael Scott. It's Britney, bitch. I didn't realize that there was anything to manage with CDOs. This is the movie about the financial crisis, isn't it? Yeah. That was 2006, 2007, wasn't it? 2000, in around that, right? So explain me why the f he's wearing a modern Rolex Submariner. That's a ceramic Rolex Submariner, 116610LN. The Rolex Submariner date. At the time that this movie supposedly be set. set, that watch wasn't existing. So that's a bit complicated, is it? This is what I mean with movies. They should do more research in this stuff. It's the finer details. The Rolex Submariner, reference number 116610LN, was first introduced in 2010 and discontinued in 2020 and made way for the 126610LN, the newer version of the Submariner. Rolex blew up the case size from 40 to 41 millimeter and placed a complete new caliber in the watch with a 70 hour power reserve. They also made the watch a bit thinner, a bit longer. It's nice. The watch Michael Scott is wearing here is worth between 14 and $15,000. Interstellar. I don't remember much of that movie, I do remember that music. It's a Hamilton khaki, no? Yes! It's a Hamilton khaki, mate. Let me tell you one thing about Hamilton. It is most definitely the best mechanical watch you can buy below a thousand dollars, 100%. I love Hamilton. I'm sorry, I love Hamilton. I think it's f class. Hublot uses the exact movement Hamilton uses. The only difference is Hublot asks 10 times the price. Hamilton is value for money and most definitely one of the best watches to buy below a thousand dollars. And that's a Hamilton khaki and I think it's class and I would love to see the movie again. I love doing these videos about movies because then I just like, I need to re-watch another movie or something. Right, right, right. This genuinely by 10 country miles. This clip is my favorite clip in a movie of all times. It's the best clip in any movie ever produced, period. Glen Gary, Glen Ross, always be closing. ABC, my watch is worth more than your car. Watch this, F***ing insane, love this. You see this watch? That watch costs more than your car. I made $970,000 last year. How much you make? That's who I am, and you're nothing. Nice guy? I don't give a shit. Good father? Fuck you. Go home and play with your kids. You want to work here? Close. I actually think that the glass is plexi. It's very hard to see, but I actually am pretty convinced it's an 1803. Rolex day date. No bother. What time is this movie set? I think it was late 60s, 1960. That could actually be very accurate. That could actually be correct. Ladies and gentlemen, we could actually have a winner here. That the watch is period correct to the movie. And you know what? It's one of my favorite scenes ever. One of the best movies I've ever seen. I enjoyed the movies I've seen here. I've enjoyed that. Finishing on Glengarry Glen Ross. By the way, if you haven't watched Glengarry Glen Ross, watch it. Always be closing. Can we just do this more often, movies and sh If you have any suggestions of movies in watches or watches in movies, by the way, drop them in the comments below right now or tomorrow or whenever it suits you. Good, like, I'm gonna go home, watch a movie. Porn, gonna watch some porn, like.